main board you see I have a number of v-nets and I've got um, these v-nets in different locations you can see that I have uh, two v-nets for production development in East USA I've got a v-net in Japan East and I've got another v-net in South Korea now in our previous video you realized that we did a v-net to v-net peering a local v-net peering using the Azure backbone and when you did that um, you saw that we could link the map without much difficulty now for example in East US vnet dev when I go down here and I look for the keyword I'm looking for is peering you see I have a US vnet dev to US vnet peering and it says connected now when I go to US vnet prod which is this side and I do the same I see a, a, a peering also connected here um, now let's go and have a look at how it looks like uh, in a diagram so East US vnet prod goes, goes to East US vnet development so we got a, a vnet to vnet peering local vnet peering but what if you want to connect to um, a, a building somewhere an office somewhere what we usually do is we use something called um, Azure gateway like VPN gateways and um, what you, you normally create on Azure is you create a gateway subnet and then you create a virtual network gateway VNG and then afterwards of course you create a connection for a VPN if you're connecting to a physical firewall in um, an on-prem site or if you're connecting to it depends on what firewall you have but connecting to a different um, a subscription somewhere where you know you don't want to use the Azure backbone for your uh, peering so in my example over here I have uh, Japan and I've got South Korea uh, I want to connect uh, Japan and uh, South Korea Korea South and Japan together uh, but because they are in different physical locations I want to pretend that these are this is my office somewhere in the fiscal building and I want to connect uh, over uh, to Korea South uh, by using a VPN uh, gateway for example but let's quickly have a look at what uh, Azure says about VPN gateways uh, what people have been asking and talking about uh, people are saying can I connect virtual networks in different Azure regions Microsoft says yes in fact there is no region constraint so like you like I said earlier you can see Japan and Korea South uh, different regions but there are not constraints there one virtual network can connect to another virtual network in the same region or in different Azure regions so there are no issues there. can you connect virtual networks with different subscriptions the answer is yes can you connect to multiple sites for a single virtual network? The answer again says you can connect to multiple sites by using Windows PowerShell and the Azure REST APIs. And of course, uh, I'll put this link up uh, in the description below, but you can go in there and then you can learn more. Is there an additional cost for setting up a VPN gateway as active active? Microsoft says no. All these benefits are here. Um, and you can go and do much more reading later on. So the description will be uh sorry the link will be in the description below so feel free to click into that i'll make it available below so you can go into it and uh, what it is it really it's a uh, vpn gateway is a type of virtual network gateway that sends encrypted traffic between your virtual network and your on-premise location across public connection because you're going through the internet you want to make sure that that um, traffic is encrypted so you don't have anyone with clever technology uh, being able to sniff your your traffic or steal data or what have you so uh, vpn of course use ipsec and it's a clever way of securing the network microsoft provides uh, the bgp technology called express route where you have a dedicated uh, a bgp network between you and azure and it's secured and you have more advantages you can read more i'll put this also in the um, description below uh, so these links are going to be there, but let's head over to where we are so these are um, Go over again and let's select our virtual networks So virtual networks we have them 
okay we want to connect them so what I'll do is let's head over and see Korea South and in Korea South you'll see the under my subnets I do have a dedicated subnet for gateway services why do you need that because you want your um, appliances like firewalls and different appliances you have uh, to stay in a dedicated subnet purely for terminating and taking care of and control and filtering traffic as they come in and as they go so I've chosen this one here uh, to be the one I'm using and it is a slash 27 it's given 32 addresses you know Azure would always take five so that gives me 27 available addresses there when I go back into it again um, I've got a gateway subnet uh, which I can add over here and we'll do that in a moment uh, let's go back and have a look at um, we want to connect to South Korea let's go to Korea South and let's look at a drawing and see what it says so Korea South has edge services already um, enabled so also the design is edge services and um, a gateway subnet okay so yeah we're gonna create one there now I like to see the topology it makes it much easier and better for me so I know which side I'm doing first let's just start Korea first okay so Korea South edge services it is time to create our gateway subnet uh, we've chosen uh, it's 192 was to say it's set to but I want to use uh, the zero and this time I'll do the 28 what happened there I, I do have it I do already have it hang on a second <laughs> I've done this already before I think uh, so okay it's 27 and from there I'm gonna go ahead and create one into wants to say 2.0 um, I'm doing a 28 for that and it says okay um, we, want to, we want to delegate the subnet. he said no um, let's just create a group not necessary uh, go ahead and create my gateway subnet so and it's over here 11 IP address available and I head over uh, and go to Japan and in Japan I need to create my uh, edge services let's see if I have it open somewhere still Korea all right let's go to Japan and um, Japan let's create a dedicated subnet for edge services edge services and it's um, it's Japan so East Japan edge services and I'm gonna use the 10 to 1 to 1 but I'm gonna use a slash 27 for that Here we go. Okay. So that'll take a little, a little bit of time to create. I think it's almost done. It's done already. Uh, eight services here. Okay. So that's over there. Um, head back here and let's see what we have at the moment. Let's look at the topology again. So go home, go network watcher. Um, oh, yeah. I think I was trying to create it earlier. So do okay leave that out let's get topology and select East US your resource group my resource group that's the name it's called but I've got my subnet for eight services um, I've already created a gateway subnet um, for uh, Korea South and we're gonna connect the two together so see you on the next one